Hi everyone, here we have a nice little question that surprisingly many people get wrong. We want to find out what the square root of 64% is. Now, the most common answer that I get um, when given this question in class is 8% because most kids know that the square root of 64 is 8. But looking a little bit closer, we'll see that it's actually not correct. So it all comes down to how we define what a percentage is. Now, percent just means by the 100. And another way that we think about it is a percentage is just that number divided by 100 or that number expressed as a fraction where the denominator is 100. Okay, so in this case, 64% could be expressed as 64 over 100. Now, when looking at the square root of a fraction, we can actually rewrite this as the square root of the numerator over the square root of the denominator. So square root of 64 over 100 could be rewritten as square root 64 over square root 100. Now, I know it would be easy enough just to say, well, that's 8 over 10, and that's right, but let's see if we can find a nice way to actually work out what the square root of 64 and what the square root of 100 is uh, without using a calculator or manually. So one way to do this is to express these numbers as products of prime factors. And one way to do this is to use a factor tree. So for example, 64, we could divide it by 2 and 32. Because 2 is a prime number, we couldn't break that down into factors, or would rather just leave it the way it is. Uh, but 32 we can. So 32 can be divided by 2 and 16. So those are the factors where 2 is a prime number. And we just continue this process. So 16 can be broken down to 2 and 8. 8 can be broken down to 2 and 4. And 4 can be broken down to 2 and 2. Now, this expresses a product of prime factors would just be 2 to the power of 6. But for now, we're just going to do the following. So it's a 2 squared times 2 squared times 2 squared. So that's 64. And we can do the same with 100. So a 100, we can break down to 2 and 50, which can be broken down to 2 and 25 and 5 and 5. So 100 can be expressed as a product of prime factors, 2 squared and 5 squared. Okay, so we have square root of 2 squared times 2 squared times 2 squared over square root of 2 squared times 5 squared. Now we could tidy this up a little bit where if we had the square root of the product of two variables, it's the same as saying the square root of the one variable multiplied by the square root of the other. So we could say that it's square root of 2 squared times square root of 2 squared times square root of 2 squared over square root of 2 squared times square root of 5 squared. And then lastly, just to clean this up, the square root of any square number is merely itself. So in other words, the square root of 2 squared, which would be the square root of 4, is 2. So we can just do this for all of them. And we are left with 2 times 2 times 2 over 2 times 5, which is 8 over 10. Okay, so obviously 8 over 10 isn't an answer uh, to, to this question, or at least not an option. Um, so let's see how else we can express this number. So we can actually express this as a percentage again. So if you recall, um, a percentage is any number over 100, and that number is the percentage. So if we can convert 8 over 10 to something over 100, which we can by multiplying by 10, we get 80 over 100, and 80 over 100 is the same as saying 80%. So the answer is B, 80%. Nice little question there.